Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I promise I do actually wear other jumpers than this. Like I feel like whenever I'm filming for my YouTube channel, I'm literally always wearing this jumper. Oh my God, I'm so shiny. Anyways, so today is a really exciting and nerve wracking day. I have really mixed emotions about it. This is something that I've been kind of putting off now for like the last six months. Um, basically, as you've seen from the title today, I am getting my lips dissolved. Now, this is just a massive thing for me because my lip filler journey has just been a very very long one I've been getting my lips filled with filler since I was about 17 which is literally ridiculous and I feel like in today's video I kind of want to talk you through the process of me kind of un undoing re redoing and what's the word when like you kind of like rewinding rewinding younger mistakes i'm really going through a bit of a journey at the moment with everything like just really toning things down making myself feel a lot more natural um i'm even going undergoing things to do with my teeth at the moment to make them look more natural i've had things dissolved all throughout my face i don't know if you guys can kind of tell um but i feel like i'm really starting to go back to the way i used to look before i had filler and i'm really really happy about it it is a bit of a taboo subject and i feel like sometimes you get respected so you get you get respect for talking about it and a lot of the time you get like hate for talking about it but i feel like with this i'm sort of like telling you guys my mistakes and sort of showing you how i'm going to sort those mistakes out. I'm heading to Leeds, which is about an hour away from here. Um, my car is literally five minutes away. So yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm nervous mainly because I'm not so great with needles, even though like <laughs> I'm really used to them in the moment with everything that's going on um, to do with my leg and stuff. Like I just feel like it never gets any easier for me and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what happens. Um, so obviously if you don't like needles like me, I don't suggest you watch, even though I can watch this stuff. So I don't know, it's a bit different. I'm a bit weird with it. I'm gonna head off now. I'm really nervous. I'm just, I'm just, honestly guys, like I remember my lips before filler. There was nothing there. Like I had literally no lips. Um, so I am really nervous to see what they're gonna look like. I just don't like the way they look. I feel like over the last few months, I've really noticed how kind of like unnatural they look. But you can really see how much filler is in my lips and like they just feel really hard and it's just time they went. It's time they went. So guys, we've just arrived in Leeds um, with Ellen and we're heading into the clinic now. I feel a bit nervous because Ellen's told me that from what she's heard, it's meant to be quite a um, traumatising experience. Not like getting your lips like done with filler. It's, apparently it's actually quite different. I've heard different. I thought it was just going to be like normal getting your lips filled, but instead the filler is actually dissolvent. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Getting it done at the skin doctor, but I'll leave the details all down below of where I'm going. Um, it's not a free treatment. I am paying for it, but I just obviously want to show you guys what I'm doing anyway. So this is us. And we're gonna head in now. Lying down on the chair. Um, I'm nervous. And Selena just asked me if I want a dental block or numbing cream, but we're not gonna go for a dental block. We're gonna be a big, brave girl. And we're just gonna get the numbing cream. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is my lips before, just so you guys can get a clear view of what they look like. They have got lumps in, <laughs> they've got bumps in, they're uneven. I reckon in total, I've probably got about five mil of filler in these all together. Um, I've not had them done for about, about a year now maybe a bit more actually so they've not been done for a long time but still that filler is just like a rock hard and just thriving basically and it needs to go <laughs> you think, uh, it's a bit really wrong how's that that was fine yeah yeah See, surprise me that wasn't actually yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this isn't like Hyaluronic acid will always go with highlights. Um, oh if it's just not going, we've, we've got to presume that it's something else. and wow wow my lips my lips my lips my lips they're not there anymore they've gone okay guys i'm gonna show you what they look like now ready oh my it doesn't even look that different oh my god i literally just facetimed my sister and we were both crying at how small my lips have gone <gasps> let me get this in focus hang on this is completely and utterly swollen um 
They're gonna literally be way smaller than this tomorrow. I can already tell. Like when I got in the car, guys, I should have vlogged it, but like I was just so traumatized. Like they were literally this big. They were so swollen. I was like, oh my goodness. But I knew they were gonna swell up really bad. I got told this. Um, and I didn't expect them to the swelling to go down this quick. And they're literally, when I say there's nothing in there, like it's literally gone from like being rock solid to just it being like, like, look, look. Look how like liney they are because there's just no there's just no filler in there. And like I'm weirdly like happy about it. Like I just don't know how to feel about it. Like I feel like I've gone back to like 15 year old me again. Uh, she used apparently like a record amount of dissolver on me, which is hilarious. I knew she was gonna need to use loads because I'm not being funny, but I mean that's that's a better light. You can kind of see a bit better there. But anyway, for the pain, I'll probably talk to you for a bit about like the pain and stuff. The pain was I'd say no more than getting your, your lips filled with filler so like getting your lips done i wouldn't say like the pain was any different also um my friend from luxury promise grace she just sent me some matching hermes cushions to go with the blanket which i'm obsessed with so shout out to luxury promise i'm gonna leave their information down below because i get all my like vintagey designer stuff from them and these pillows insane the pain was pretty much the exact same as the pain is getting filler in your lips i knew it was something that i needed doing so i feel like i just kind of got on with it and it was fine like it's just as i said it's like out of 10 on a pain threshold of like bearable and unbearable like it's like a seven well seven is quite seven is quite high but like i've got a really really low pain threshold maybe like a six no, I don't know. Actually. Girls and guys, if you've had your lips done, you'll know that it obviously does hurt. But I hate it when people are like, there's no pain. It doesn't even hurt. Yes, it does hurt. Like, who can even say that getting your lips filler, like filler and all that kind of stuff doesn't hurt? Like, it, it absolutely kills. Like, I've just made so many mistakes when it's come to filler and work done on my face. And I'm slowly starting to reverse it all. Um, oh, my God. Look how small they look. Like, <laughs> no. So next, it's going to be teeth sort my teeth out but i'll vlog that separately okay so tommy's back from training so what do we think of the new lips tell me what you think of them properly let me show you young that. sir <laughs> so tommy no go to you <laughs> same thing jesus it's not the same thing well i like them either way you like them no but do you actually do you know what's the funniest thing now i've got bigger lips than you you've always had bigger lips than me though You've, he's got a massive big lips, so I'm hoping that our child will have his lips and not my non-existent lips. No, do you know what, to be fair, my honest opinion, I like them better because they look a bit more natural. I mean, there's natural and then there's... Oh. Yeah, but the other ones didn't look natural. Like you could look, you used to look at your lips and think, yeah, you've had filler. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. That look there is, is more natural. So because you... they're still a bit swelt from the thing. Swelt. Swollen. That's not a word, swelt. Okay, just because they're a bit swollen now. They're going to go way smaller than this, you do know that. So, a pair of lips is a pair of lips, is it not? What does that feel like compared? I keep thinking pussies leak, <laughs> squirting out from your lips onto mine. There's no pus! Don't what where are the you hole's been, where the needle's been. There's no pus! Do it again. Why is it wet? Is <laughs> your lips wet? They're not, look. <laughs> they are wet! What? Good morning, guys. So, I've just woken up, it's half eight in the morning. Um, Way too early for me, way, way too early. Um, but I have a horse riding lesson today. Um, this is my first horse riding lesson since literally the one I vlogged months ago, but I wasn't able to go horse riding because the doctor told me with my leg and stuff that I wasn't allowed to go. And I'm still really not meant to be going, but I feel like it feels fine now. So before I have my next surgery in a few days, I might as well just have one more lesson. I'll see if my teacher Elle can film me on here instead of my phone and I'll just show you what I'm doing. Because some of you like the little horsey updates, some of you really don't, I don't really know. Uh, my lips this morning are swollen. Uh, my top lip's really swollen and my bottom lip is, you know like how every time you wake up in the morning your lips are always swollen? I feel like it's expected, so I will show you throughout the day if they gradually get smaller, which I'm sure they will because last night I sent a video to Maura. She was like, oh my god, where have your lips gone? Like it was so funny. Everyone's just like, what has happened there? Like I don't think anyone expected it to be, well I didn't even expect it to be this dramatic. I mean you can't really tell now because they are swollen, but last night, wow, they were so thin. I'm going to head off to horse riding now and I'll vlog a little bit today and just show you what we get up to. Now just sit for two. So that you're on the right diagnosis so that all these horsey people no, don't worry honestly don't panic now remember a little bit of leg there good and canter now heels down good keep your leg on hands up now trot rise keep rising yes Woo there you go good right now go large keep your leg on little tap 
Yes, look Yay. at us go. Oh my goodness, woo. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, I'm back from my riding lesson and we have just gone to Asda and bought a lot of Halloween stuff. We tried everywhere for Halloween stuff and apparently we were like too late and everyone bought it before us. So how would you rate your Halloween shopping experience? Oh, well. Until we got to Asda. Oh, by the way, don't everyone think that this is for me and we're having a baby. This is my manager's and I accidentally bought it here by mistake. Um, sorry, carry on, Tommy. Um, before we got to Asda, not very good. Thought it was, thought it was it because we went to the range. We went. People to don't Donnell. celebrate Halloween anymore. We went everywhere and nowhere had good Halloween stuff, did they? So, anyways, we're gonna. He's got colour hairspray. He wants to Show it now. do it green. No, yeah. no, we're going for a house viewing. No. So I'm gonna do it. No, Tommy, we're I'm not going, going for house viewing. Green here. Yes, no, I am. No. Anyway, um, lip update. So this is how they're looking now. So small, and I kind of like it. Like I kind of am not hating it. Um, obviously they're a lot smaller, but I I think they've still got some more um swelling to go down. I think by tomorrow they're literally gonna be like hello. Um, but yeah, I did just smile for a picture before, and literally I looked at my top lip and it was just gone. But it's fine. I think I way prefer them like this. Are you happy with how my lips are? Beautiful, darling. <laughs> Beautiful, darling. Um, we're about to go for house viewing now. Actually, maybe I'll bring you along with us. Um because then I can look back at the footage that I get at the house anyway, because I, when I, we go and view a house, if I like the house, I watch the footage back that I take at the house, like over and over and over and over again to like picture myself living there and see if I can like, I really like it or not. Um, but this is actually a house we're going to view um, that we've viewed before about, how long do you think? Like maybe about half a year ago now. Tommy actually wants to sort of start a bit of like investment stuff. So I feel like we're gonna go look at it for like a different purpose now. Very mixed emotions. We've had a lot of discussions about it because like obviously I'm so happy at this place. Like, oh, not in focus, literally like the happiest I've ever been. But you can't rent forever. Um, it's just, well, you can rent forever, but we we just don't want to. Like it's just a massive waste of money for us personally. And I know I said that on my Instagram the other day and I managed to offend some people. Um, but it is like, it is literally a waste of money. Like you're putting your money into someone else's pocket and getting nothing back from it. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go view this house now. I'll bring you along with us. Wish us luck. Guys, we're at this house viewing now. We've just come with our builder and I feel like now I can really like see its potential and stuff. So I may be standing in my potential filming room right now. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, these things always seem like they're gonna go ahead for us and then don't, but I'm gonna show you a sneak, 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 sneak peek. So sneak peek, this is all you're gonna get for now. Um, ignore the dark oak wood, obviously. There is so much to be changed. We're planning extensions out the front, out the back. Everything is gonna be ripped out of this house. I basically started again, but I'm really excited. I wasn't until I've come to view it again, but like, a, like six months on, I'm viewing it completely differently now. And Fingers crossed it all goes ahead, but I've got to go downstairs because everyone's having conversations and I'm up here hiding because I wanted to like tell you guys what's happening. Um, I just want to bring you guys on this journey with us, obviously. I know this is a lip vlog, but I mean, it's fine to have a little bit of a sidetrack, isn't it? Guys, we're, we're literally just stood at either end of the, of the bedroom appreciating the coziness. Oh, yes, our little projector. <gasps> oh my goodness, wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wait, how have you made it bigger? It's huge now. I mean, she is thriving. She is living. What's her name, babe? We've not named her yet. Jemima. Jemima. Oh, hello, Jemima. You're really cute. Also, don't mind how empty our bedroom is. <laughs> like, it is the biggest bedroom and it is so oh, empty. Yeah, um, this is Tommy's walk-in wardrobe area. And it's really, really tidy, actually. Well done, babe. I mean, don't know if it was you or Ben, but... Half and a half. Half and a half. So I'm wearing this cozy, cozy, cozy jumper from Angel Collection, which is obviously Ellie Darby's brand. And it's so, oh my God, don't mind that washing. It is so cozy. I'm literally obsessed with it. Like I was saying on my Instagram story the other night, this is what Tommy has to deal with now. Every night I go to bed, like he used to get, you know, sexy underwear, all that lovely stuff. No, no, sorry. This is what he gets now. I feel like the swelling has pretty much completely gone now. They literally feel so flat. Just like, they've just completely disappeared. Like it's literally insane. I am so, so happy. And I was also saying on my Instagram story this evening that I'm so happy that I've got it done. Like I literally been putting it off for so long now, like I said, and I feel like it's the best decision I've made in a long time, getting my lips dissolved. I balanced you there. But yeah, one thing I do wish I had done when I was younger would have been to have waited until I knew a proper, proper, like 
place where I could go where they'd be done and look so natural um, because of after years of just going to different people like I ended up with just botched lips and it was no one's fault other than my own really from just just not I don't know just not doing my research and not really knowing what I was doing and just saying yeah make my lips look like Kylie Jenner's like no that's just not how it works and so many people say to me you're gonna make yourself look worse you're trying to make yourself look better but you're just gonna make yourself look worse you're so young you don't need to do this and obviously you think you know best when you're 17 18 19 you're like no I know what I'm doing and now at 21 I'm like 21 and having to reverse all of these mistakes like that is ridiculous i'm still a child myself listen to your mothers do as they say as i wish i'd listened to mine and i didn't um but yeah anyway guys i'm gonna leave it on that note if you do have any questions comment them down below and i will try and get back to as many of you guys as possible i always do try to reply to my comments but i get a lot so i'll try my best um details will be left below obviously now where i went to skin doctor she's absolutely incredible um but yeah i'll keep you guys updated with everything that's going on and i'll speak to you guys really soon